Good morning, everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome to this fantastic, lovely, beautiful focus webinar. We mm -hmm. are, I am King Monique. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am from Los Angeles, California. Um, my kingdom is um, beautiful. It is uh, near the beach. My kingdom includes Santa Monica. My kingdom includes the Hollywood Hills, yes. So I am King Monique from Los Angeles. Um, I live in Bologna and I like yoga, I like music, and I like mango chutney. And you? Wow, that is, that is a king. That is a true king up there. Yeah. Oh, yes. I am Princess Jeff. I come from the magical land of London. I am the princess of a borough in London. A borough is a zone. So I come from the borough of Lewisham, the princess of Lewisham. Do you spell borough B-O-R-O-U-G-H? That's correct. Oh, and how do you spell your borough? Lewisham, L-E-W-I-S-H-A-M. Lewisham. Lewisham. Okay, so there's... With an M. With an M. M. No M. Okay, so everyone, don't, don't mind that. That was not correct. She is from the borough of... Lewisham. So, people know when there's a letter that someone doesn't understand, you can say M as in Monique, M as in Mary, Monique. M in Monkey, M as in Mango Chutney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you're from the, and again, Borough, what is that? It's a zone. It's like, um, here in Bologna, where we both are, the city is divided in its zones. So that is um, the equivalent in England. And how do you pronounce it? Borough. Interesting, borough. Because in New York, there are also these, they're, they're called the same way, it's, it's written the same way, although sometimes it's also written B-O-R-O, -O, for sure, mm -hmm. but borough. Ah, yeah. So it, there, it's say it again. Bara. How interesting. Bara, bara, bara. Like bora bora. <laughs> bara, bara, bara. I'm saying it too many times now. I'm confused. Yeah, that sounds funny. Bara. So bara, and in New York, it's a borough. And bara. in this, we don't have boroughs. We just have kind of everything spread out. But like um, borrow, as in, can I borrow your pen? Oh, is that the similar pronunciation? That's no, that, it sounds like that to me. No, it's burrow, not borrow. Borrow, borrow. <laughs> yeah. So the borrow of Brooklyn, the borrow. Yeah. Funny, mm -hmm. huh? But that's interesting. So you are from the, oh no, mm -hmm. the bara, 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 bara. Good. Quite challenging. I'll write a note to myself. Burra. Of Lewisham. And if you're from Lewisham, you can just call it the Sham. Ooh, fantastic. So Lewisham. The Lewisham, Sham. an area of London, also known as the Sham. That's fabulous, the Sham. And just to give you an idea of how big London is, so in the borough of Lewisham, which is one of many boroughs in London, Lewisham then has its own sections. Like sub-boroughs. Like sub-boroughs. So I then am from Lee in Lewisham in London. And then there's Lee, there's a place called Forest Hill, there's oh, so many places. Oh, lovely. And is Lewisham a nice area of London? Do you like Lewisham? I think so. <laughs> I love cool. Lewisham. Excellent. It's kind of the, um, uh, it's very different from Kensington and the, 
and Chelsea, that area, um, very, very different from, from that place. Just if you're able to say. After we'll take a look at a map of London and you can show us where the Sham is, where Lewisham is. One thing to note is here she is from, so we didn't say Princess Jess is from, we used a pronoun, she, she is from. So if you're just joining us now, we want you to tell us what is your name, where are you from, and we want you to answer these seven questions. Mm. So I introduce myself. Uh, oh, I already did introduce myself. <laughs> well, well then, okay. You can introduce yourself again, Monique. <laughs> I can say I am not from the borough of Lewisham. However, interesting, fun fact, my grandmother, Grandma Debbie, who we also called Bubula, which in Yiddish means grandmother, an endearing term, was born and raised in London. Oh. And she was from the East End of London, from Aldgate East. Wow. I'm really proud of my grandmother from the East End, yes. And, uh, so she was born in London. My mom was born in New York, and I was born in Los Angeles. So, yeah. So let's see here, Jess. Do you like pizza? Ah. Jess likes pizza. I like pizza. Did you like pizza? That is a very good question. So let's show people. You can either say, I like dingy, 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 or I don't like dingy, dingy, dingy. Okay. So do I like pizza? Good question. So. Clearly, I like pizza. However, I'm eating less yeast, right? Mm. So I eat much less pizza than before. Mm. I actually mm. haven't had pizza in quite some time, but I'd like pizza. I think the last time I had pizza was at our staff meeting, maybe two or three weeks ago. Oh, so yeah. frequently, I eat more rye bread or matzah. Right. Mm. Mm. How about penguins? Do you like penguins? I do like penguins. I actually watched um, David Attenborough's uh, uh, Secret Worlds. I think it's called Secret Worlds. Um, it's a new one um, from David Attenborough, and it was the episode about Antarctica. So there were lots of penguins, and I got quite emotional over the penguins um, last night. Beautiful. You know, our colleague Joanna from Cape Town, South Africa, told me that in Cape Town or in South Africa, there are penguins. That surprises me. That's amazing. So that you can see them on the beach. In oh, I need to go. I have to go. You know, I want to go as well. I remember in Costa Rica, I spent three months in Costa Rica and on the Caribbean side, there's a beach where you see wild horses. It's oh. amazing because the, basically the jungle meets the beach right there. So they encounter each other and wild iguanas. Wow. Amazing. Awesome. But let's say just to change it up. No, I don't like penguins. <laughs> Poor penguins. But don't ask me why. Because I'm just kidding. I really do like you. <laughs> so what about the next one? Do you like queens? Do you like queens? It's an interesting question. It is very interesting, right? It's a very interesting question. I think, okay, so a little bit about me. I, I have a, a guilty pleasure mm. for... Um, movies which involve kings and queens and lords and ladies. Fantastic. So in that in in that way, then yes, I do like queens. Do you like queens, Monique? Well, I would say yes and no, because it depends what type of queens. I would say I like drag queens. Oh and yeah. I don't like monarchies. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like ultimate totalitarian rulers, but I like fun queens that dress up and wear tiaras and dance. 
Okay, if you are just joining us, we invite you to also answer these questions. Remember, this is a live webinar, live and in streaming. So please feel free. Don't worry if it's right or wrong. We want you to participate. So we will continue with these questions. Aha, Ginger, what is Ginger? Why I'm drinking a ginger tea. You are drinking ginger tea and I am eating ginger for lunch, not raw ginger, <laughs> but I will use this ginger to cook my vegetables with. So lovely. Lovely. Is it not so beautiful? Look at it this. Look at that. So do you like ginger? I do like ginger. Mm. Do you like ginger? I, I, love, like ginger. I love ginger. It's good for us, it's healthy, it's an uh, antioxidant, it's good for clearing and cleaning our bodies. I love ginger, yeah. Ooh, next one. Dun, dun, dun. So do you like Beyonce, who I think her nickname is Bay, if I'm not mistaken. And Queen possibly her dad is from Barbados or the Bahamas. I think the Bahamas, yeah. I so do. do you like Beyonce? I do like Beyonce. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is your favorite Beyonce song? That's a good question, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the I love old Beyonce, so I'm gonna say Love on Top because it's just one of those feel-good songs. Nice. Oh, her new album is is it's pretty um, pretty impressive stuff. Everything on there makes me feel like a fierce, strong yeah. woman. Is that the one with um, that came out? What is it called, the new album? Um, I don't, it's an album with Formation on. Um, I remember, I don't know if it's her last album, but I there was an album of hers I also really liked. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would say I also like Beyonce, so. She likes Beyonce in the comments. And I also like Beyonce. Do you love Beyonce? I'm not going to say that I love her, mm. but I enjoy, I enjoy Beyonce. I enjoy her too. Lemonade is the name of the new album. There you go. Lemonade. Fantastic yeah. album. Fantastic album. So if whoever is watching, if you want to comment, do you like Beyonce? Lemonade. That was a very interesting album. It came out, I think, also uh, with many different videos, too. Yes. Yeah. So fantastic album, Lemonade by Beyonce. Yeah, maybe I'll listen to it later. Now, do you like music? I do. I love music. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could... Um, I couldn't imagine life without music. Yeah. So I would I've been listening to a lot of music lately. Mm -hmm. Being at home a lot, listening to a lot of music. And the mm -hmm. last one, can you ask me? Do you like mango chutney? What is mango chutney? What is mango chutney? <laughs> mango chutney is that delicious, sweet tasting side sauce that you get with your Indian. Yeah, we can say a sweet Indian dish. No, a sweet Indian side dish. Supplement? Is it? I don't know. A sweet Indian um, thing. <laughs> thing, food. A sweet Indian food, yes. Let's say sweet Indian food. I love mango chutney. Love mango chutney. Do you like mango chutney? I do, with my papa dom. Yes, exactly. Amazing. <laughs> So lovely. Well, let's dive now into our focus for the day. Dun, dun. We have a delightful, delightful focus activity. What is it called? I like you. I like you. Oh, thank you. I like you too, Princess Jess. That is so nice. I like you. So fantastic. So we see I like you now. This might be difficult, but I say I like you. What if I want to say the opposite? So, mm, like, mm, mm, mm. So let's write this here. Monique, if you're tuning I, in now. Jess. Yes, Monique and Jess likes Jess. Like 
Monique. Yes. Or we can say, I like you. And you like me. Ta -da. So friend, you can say, friend, I like you. You like me. Fabulous. Beautiful, right? One big yeah. family. <laughs> exactly. I like you. You like me. One big fat family. So, what are our objectives in this focus? In this focus activity, like and don't like third person object pronouns. Awesome. And this person that we see is doing what? Thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Very thumbs happy. Up. Thumbs up. So, when you like something, thumbs up. So, maybe you say, I like you, you like me, thumbs up. So you can say that at home as well. Practice. I like you. You like me. Thumbs up. Yeah. Hey. Okay, good. All right. Moving forward. Again, if anyone is just joining us, let us know your name, where you're from, and do you like music? Okay? So here we see I like. Jess, could you kindly read through this lovely description here? What do you like? What don't you like? I like, tick. I don't like, hobbies, sports, food, music, films. Exactly. So the example says, I like rock music. I don't like Spanish music or food. It's food. I don't like Spanish food. And I would say, I like Spanish music. I don't like, I think I like all types of food. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same. <laughs> Say one that I don't like, but let's see here. So we have some different examples we will share here. Can you say what do you like? I I like <laughs> I like flowers. Ooh, I like flowers too. I like plants. I nearly bought some plants in the supermarket the other day. Really? Which plants? It was, um, I've forgotten the name. I think it begins with a B, a tree. I used to have one. I'm so bad. Bonsai. Say that again. Bonsai, a Japanese yeah. plant. That you yeah. Bonsai, yeah. Okay. I nearly bought one, but then I um, had too many things to carry, so I, I knew I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. I believe it's spelled B-A-N-S-A-I. Princess yeah. Jess likes bonsai plants. So notice, everyone, third person, we add an S, likes. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, I don't like, there is a food. Okay, it's not a food from a place, but it's one specific food type food that I don't like. And that is celery. I don't like celery. So you don't like raw celery? You don't like cooked celery? I can handle cooked celery. Like in a, in a minestrone soup? Yeah, in a minestrone soup, in a big, where there's other flavors, but I cannot eat raw celery. How interesting. People can just munch on it. Yeah, I like celery, mm -hmm. but it's interesting because it depends. It's, it's an interesting vegetable, mm. right? It's very water. It has a lot of water content, like cucumber, right? So yeah. it's strange in the kitchen. I think it's good when starting to put maybe onion and carrots and garlic, when you start cooking something in the frying pan, then adding the celery is nice. But I tried it, I think I recently tried it and I didn't like how it was in what I made, right? But I do like celery. Do you want to know an interesting fact about cucumber? Absolutely. It's um, such a water-based vegetable. Mm -hmm. If you buy a cucumber, most people put their cucumber in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. And putting it in the fridge actually makes the, um, I want to say shelf life, the yeah. lifespan um, decrease. Mm -hmm. So you can actually leave it in a drawer. Because of the water, the amount of water that's in the cucumber, when you put it in the fridge, it cools the water so much that it actually makes it go bad. Cool. So I'll say Princess Jess, Jess says, don't leave your cucumbers in the refrigerator. 
So do you not leave your cucumbers in the refrigerator? Nope, and they last much longer. Wow, that's fascinating. It's almost frightening because I'm so used to leaving my cucumbers in the refrigerator. I do find, though, that cucumbers don't last very long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So um, make an experiment for yourself. You mean buy two cucumbers, leave one in the fridge and one out of the fridge? Yeah. I might experiment by leaving them both out of the fridge. Leave them both out of the fridge. And then you also notice that it's more watery when you, it's got that, fre it's fresher. Interesting, yeah. I do like cucumbers though. I think they're, they're pleasing. They're, they're very common in Israel, for example. Also mm -hmm. with eggs, like cucumbers are often eaten with eggs and with spices and with hummus, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice. Cool. Right. Monique, okay. good to know. There's films on our list. Oh, what there film are. you like? Ooh, interesting. Well, I like documentaries. Mm -hmm. I like Billy Elliot. It was a beautiful film. I like, um, let's see here. I like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Do you like the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I've never fully watched it. I've only watched like the end or a little bit because my old, um, in England, my old flatmates used to watch it. So it's amazing. If you have a chance to watch the entire film, it is beautiful. I, I don't think I've got enough time at the moment. No, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I will say something that I don't like, which is not a film, it is a food and mm -hmm. it is fruit. And mm -hmm. I cannot, I just, I will share it here. I mm. don't like grapefruit. I'm so sorry. So grapefruit is like an orange, but it's pink and large. It's this large and it's very bitter. So for some reason, nah. Can I give you a little, a little trick with, with sure. if I, next time you're brave enough? to try mm -hmm. grapefruit, I recommend. You get, for breakfast, it's very lovely. You get the grapefruit, <laughs> cut it in half, you have two grapefruits, and it's nice and pink here. Then you place it on a baking tray. On you a baking tray? You sprinkle, to sprinkle uh -huh. um, some sugar over the top. Yeah. And then you see the sugar kind of gets a bit wet, from the juice, mm -hmm. and then you put it in the oven um, on a medium temperature for like five to 10 minutes, and the sugar just caramelizes with the juice oh. and, the and then you can take it out and you can just scoop it out, and it takes away the bitterness, and you've got this nice contrast. Really, so does it taste like an orange or some other citrus fruit? No, not so much. It's still grapefruity, but it takes the edge of the bitterness and the juice. Once you heat it, the juice is just so... Mm. Hey, I would try it because this is a very good time for trying, for experimenting in the kitchen. So I made banana pancakes for the first time thanks to our colleague Jenna from the Bahamas. I made a poached egg thanks to our colleague Hal from Surrey. So... Maybe I'll try a grapefruit with, with sugar. Thank you for the suggestion. That's very yeah. cool. So let's move forward in our focus. Dun, 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 dun. See what we have in store. Three, two, one. Hobbies. Ha ha. So we want feedback, but we want to talk about Beyonce. So let's write it here. Let's talk about Beyonce. So remember third person. So first person, I, I like grapefruit. Second person, you, you like grapefruit, you do. And third person, she or he likes with an S grapefruit. Can you read through, Jess? I can. Listening to music, going to the cinema, surfing the internet, meeting friends, going to the gym, watching television, photography, reading, football, tennis, 
cycling, rugby, running, and dance. Lovely. Yes. So if anyone has questions on what these are, please ask. We want to talk about Beyonce. So let's talk about Beyonce. So we'll use third person. So we want to know what does she like? So we'll say either she likes or she doesn't like. So what does she like? Jess. I think she what likes. Does Beyonce like? Beyonce likes listening to music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, Beyonce does like listening to music. Beyonce doesn't like going to the cinema. Mm. She is busy and she prefers watching animal documentaries at home. Yes, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Beyonce doesn't like surfing the internet. Yes, because she finds out so much. There is so much talk about her. She doesn't like surfing the internet. No, to surf the internet, you can surf in Huntington Beach, for example, or surf in Portugal, but you can also surf the internet, right? Mm -hmm. What about meeting friends? Does Beyonce like meeting friends? Interesting. Beyonce <laughs> does. Who does like meeting friends? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Beyonce does. <laughs> okay. Beyonce like going to the gym. <laughs> it's a very good question. Let me she call and ask her one second. Excuse yeah. me. Lisa. I was just okay. wondering, listen, do you like going to the gym? If you're just joining us, you can also say, do you like going to the gym? I actually have the telephone for calling Beyonce on. Oh, fantastic. So give her a ring and let us know. We want to know. So our question is, does Beyonce like <laughs> going to the gym? Okay, this, we this is the question. Does Me. Beyonce like going to the gym? I need to um, dial up Beyonce's digits. Can you please tell us her number? We, so we'll write it in the notes. I, I actually can't. It's top secret. Oh, okay. What? Where is she? Oh, hi, Beyonce. Ooh, okay, great. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's Jess. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, 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 yeah. How, how, how are the children? Oh, excellent. Okay, I don't have much time, but I was wondering... Um, do you like going to the gym? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Well, thank you so much for your time, and you keep working on those push-ups. You go, girl. All right, see you. Bye-bye. So, interesting. <laughs> she doesn't like going to the gym. Oh, no, really? No, but she has. She likes working out. She has. She has a personal trainer that comes to her home. And she said since um, giving birth to her children, she's um, really enjoyed um, getting her body back into shape. Wow, fantastic. So she likes working out. Interesting. So let's put it for everyone here. Beyonce doesn't like going to the gym, but she likes working out. Interesting. Well, I think that that's fantastic. It is very nice to work out at home. I have been working out at home just like Beyonce. Do you like working out? I do like working out. Mm -hmm. And do you like going to the gym? Not anymore. I used to in the past. I used to like going to the gym, but now, now I don't. You don't like going to the gym. Interesting. And, you know... Princess Jess, just like Beyonce, doesn't like going to the gym. Beyonce doesn't like going to the gym. Princess Jess doesn't like going to the gym. And in fact, King Monique doesn't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym, but I would like a personal trainer. Yeah. If you decided to give me a present of a personal trainer once a week, I would say thank you very much, Princess Jess. I would be your personal trainer, Monique. Wow, really? Do you do personal training? 
I used to. <laughs> would you do it still, personal training? Yeah, I would. I would actually. I would enjoy it, I think. That's very cool. Good to know. Wow. Fabulous. So let's return to Beyonce. Yes. We know that Beyonce doesn't like going to the gym, but does Beyonce like watching television? You you take this one, Monique. Does Beyonce <laughs> like watching television? So actually, no. I spoke with her yesterday, right? Wow. And we talked about what she likes and what she doesn't like. <laughs> and she also asked me, she said, Monique. <laughs> What's this say to you? <laughs> she, she doesn't. <laughs> she told me two days ago that she doesn't like reality TV. No, no, no. Actually, she doesn't like TV at all. She told me she doesn't like reality TV. She doesn't like NBC. She doesn't like. She really doesn't like. <laughs> What about photography? Yeah, photography. That's a very good question. Does Beyonce, <laughs> do Beyonce, does Beyonce like photography? She likes photography. <laughs> <laughs> she likes photography because she likes um, getting on the front cover of magazines. Exactly, yes. And she works very closely with her photographers. Yes, she works well with photographers. Exactly. Does she like, but does she like reading? Mm. This is a good question. I know that she likes reading Italian poetry. She has, um, she loves reading poetry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she studies Italian. And interesting, this is something very, not classified, but unexpected. When I lived in New York, I got contacted by someone who's English and wanted to learn Italian. Uh -huh. It could have been Beyonce, but it was not. It was Skin, Skin from the group Skunk and Nancy, very popular in Italy, especially, right? Wow. She contacted me because I was listed as an Italian teacher in New York. So we spent one week of me teaching skin Italian and her taking me to eat delicious sushi. <laughs> and she invited me to a club one time too where she was DJing. It was a very, very interesting experience. Similar to us talking about does Beyonce like watching television? It was like, does skin like? <laughs> and another very curious thing. I was teaching her like, um, in Italian, but I'll say it in, in English, right? Have you ever, right? So have you ever um, sang on stage with, and then different examples. So one was, have you ever, have you ever been on stage with Stevie Wonder? And I was thinking, these are wild examples. And she's like, yes, I have. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Cool. That was cool. That was very, very cool. So shall we move forward here? What do you think? See a few more examples. So let's read through these lovely examples. We have Indian food, British food. Oh, no, sorry, Italian food. <laughs> That's okay. Italian. I'll start with an I. And it starts with an I and ends with an N. So <laughs> we were talking about Indian. Mm -hmm. Italian food, British food, Indian food, Japanese food, Turkish food, French food, German food, American food, Spanish food, Chinese food, Greek restaurants, and Mexican restaurants. Yes. And I can tell you that in Los Angeles, there are amazing Mexican restaurants. Yeah. Incredible. Tacos, burritos, quesadillas, guacamole. I would love that right now. What? When, when I, when I, last year, in my old apartment with my flatmates, we had a big Mexican food dinner party. Wow. Great fun. Mm -mm. Guacamole? Oh, yeah. I, I'm the guacamole queen. Are you really? I actually have made myself guacamole Guacamole what? Since being in quarantine. I've made guacamole twice for my... 
That's delightful. So Since if someone doesn't know that, what? Since being in quarantine. Fantastic. Yeah. So if someone doesn't know what guacamole is, it's smushed avocados, right? Avocados are very common in Mexico. In California, they grow so much. Um, so we will write here Princess Jess of guacamole or of the avocados, perhaps. Do you prefer? No, of guacamole. Of guacamole. Of guacamole. Princess Jess of guacamole. So if you're at home, practice this. Princess Jess of guacamole. So yes, guacamole is delicious. So are we asking about Beyonce? Does she like or does she not like <laughs> this? <is a> <laughs> question. Let's talk about Beyonce again. If you're just joining us, we are talking about Beyonce in the third person. So not first person I like, not second person you like, third person. She likes, no. she doesn't like. So does Beyonce like Indian food? No, Italian food. I made the same mix up. Does Beyonce <laughs> like Italian food? Beyonce does like Italian food. <laughs> Beyonce likes Italian movie. <laughs> yes, she, Beyonce loves tortellini. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right then. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> loves tortellini. Does Beyonce like British food? Yes, she does. Beyonce likes, here we go, Beyonce loves tortellini. <laughs> Beyonce likes walnut whips. <gasps> walnut My whips. mom loves walnut whips. Yes, walnut whips, which are a specialty, would you say in the UK or in London? I don't know, the UK. Let's say in the UK. My grandmother loved walnut whips. So when I would go to London, I have never spent a lot of time in London, but I've been various times. I would buy walnut whips and bring them back to my grandmother in Los Angeles. Do you know what? Looking at Beyonce likes warm-up <laughs> I really believe it, you know? I think like, she does, yeah. She likes them. I mean, can you describe what walnut whips are? I can. They are like chocolate, um, a chocolate coat. It's kind of, it's this shape, uh -huh. but smaller, like this big. Yeah. It's chocolate, and inside is this whipped cream. And on top is a walnut. So and there's one walnut. Just one walnut on top. Sometimes you have special ones that uh, have a walnut inside. Is there walnut in the cream? I think there might be, yeah. Maybe, because call it walnut whips when have one walnut on top. <laughs> but, <laughs> but still, yeah, they're lovely. They're lovely. So yes, Beyonce likes British food. Does Beyonce like Indian food, though? Beyonce doesn't like Indian food. <laughs> Not at all? No, the only thing she likes is mango chutney. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so that's... <laughs> yeah, Never eat it. Like you can't it. have mango chutney without a poppadom. So what does she do? I, I think she just... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she has mango chutney on her toast. Yeah, that's, that's what she does. That's, that must be very difficult. Do you like Indian food? I do like Indian food. I love Indian food. But I don't eat Indian food often in Bologna. No, me either. I only ever have it when I go home. Yeah, because mm -hmm. London has amazing Indian oh, food. It's the best. It's, well, obviously not the best. It's not but Indian food. It's very, very good. And yeah. I actually have the best Indian restaurant in southeast London at the end of my road. Really? What is it called? Good question. I can't remember. So let's say Princess Jess likes the best Indian, South Indian, right? South Indian restaurant in London, right up her road. Is that right? That is correct. Road. Fabulous. So if anyone watching wants to know what the best South Indian restaurant in London is, you know it's right up her road in the sham. No problem. In the sham. Yeah, in the sham. Cool. So let's do one more and then we'll go to the next slide. Does Beyonce like, let's see here, does Beyonce like Japanese food? 
does Beyonce like Japanese food? I've actually got the name of the Indian restaurant here. I've sent oh, it. Tell us, we'll put it in the comments. Yeah. And then I can answer the Japanese food one. Yes, Beyonce loves Japanese food, but she only eats it once a month because it is a specialty, it's special for her. She does not like to eat too much sushi because she loves sushi too much. Mm. And you know, she, she only eats it on the eighth of every month. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. We both know Beyonce quite well, actually. Okay, so let's, oh, it's called Panas Gurka Restaurant. Well, why don't we share it? Panas Gurka Restaurant. Share it with everyone. A recommendation. A rec now, Beyonce doesn't like Turkish food. Really? Why not? She just isn't, she's not a, she's not a fan. Oh, how interesting. Do you like Turkish food? I do like Turkish food, but I don't eat it very often. Really? Nor do I. It's not easy to find here. No, it's really not. Yeah, but let's move to our next slide and read through some different types of music. So why don't we alternate? Um, so we have classical music. Rock music. Jazz. jazz. Or jizz, as some people will call it. Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Also, one note for everyone, classical music is different than, <laughs> different than classic rock. So be careful about this. Classical music would be like Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, um, Brahms, Mahler, Rachmaninoff, whereas classic rock is Led Zeppelin, um, the Eagles, uh, rock music from the 70s, right? Uh, Jethro Tull. So careful, there's not, we don't say classic music, right? Classical music or classic rock. Okay, so pop music. Electronic music. R&B. Rap music. Metal. U2. The Beatles. Rihanna. Mozart. Radiohead. Lady Gaga. <laughs> you need to remove the comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> sorry about that. Michael Jackson. And One Direction. I don't know Mike One Direction. Do you? I. You what? I don't know One Direction. Do you? Uh, I know of them. I do not like them. They okay. are a British boy band which came out of a talent show in England. Okay. I gotcha. So we want to know, are we saying Beyonce? Yeah, Beyonce. the big question is, <laughs> she is the hit of this webinar today. Does Beyonce like classical music? So we want to know, does Beyonce like classical music? Many people wonder, many Beyonce, people wonder. Beyonce like, she likes classical music. Yeah, well, lovely. That's fantastic. Yes, I like classical music too. I really like Rachmaninoff, ah. Russian Romantic classical music. Oh, I no. When I was sixteen, I played the double bass in an orchestra. Did and you? Did it Rachmaninoff? It was lovely. So, let's see here. Does Beyonce like rock music? Oh. This is a difficult question because Beyonce plays different music. She plays R and B. Yeah, but I think her, I think she has some influence of rock music, maybe. Possibly. But does she like rock music? She doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> but she loves Beyonce doesn't like rock music. She loves music, but she doesn't like rock music. So if we look and we see here, for example, is there any rock music? For example, U2. Beyonce doesn't like U2. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> but Beyonce, Beyonce, I know for a fact Beyonce likes jazz music. Does she really? Really? Yeah. I love jazz music. Do you like jazz music? I do. I do too. So, what jazz music does Beyonce like? This is the question. She really likes um, Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I think Ella Fitzgerald <laughs> was quite an influence on her as well. Yeah, Ella Fitzgerald, yeah she um, gave birth to listening <laughs> to Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> How interesting. Yeah. Fun facts on our Mayas webinars. Yes, and I know Beyonce loves, um, she loves uh, Sarah Vaughan. Uh-huh. She loves Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday was a very big influence on Beyonce's singing. She doesn't. She doesn't like uh, Nina Simone, though. Oh no, no, no! She doesn't like Nina. Simone. Well, Nina Simone is a bit. It's too intense for Beyonce. Yeah. A little bit too intense for Beyonce, but, <laughs> but Beyonce also likes pop music. Beyonce likes pop music and Beyonce plays pop music, right? Yeah. Her music is pop and R&B, but what is R&B? These two letters, what, what does it do they mean? stand for? R&B. Any ideas? Let's see, we shall reveal it. One of the most difficult words to spell in the English language is rhythm. What is rhythm? Rhythm. Yeah. Rhythm is one of those things. You either have it or you don't. <laughs> However, you could say everyone has a heartbeat who is alive. Yes. So we all have rhythm. We all have rhythm. Do we have a good sense of rhythm? That's another thing. That's but another rhythm thing. would be the beat. So, for example, one, two, three, four is a rhythm in four, four time. One, two, three, four. Four. So that's rhythm. What are the blues, though? So we know the color blue would be this, which is, by the way, I got this mug gifted to me when I went to an artist residency in Catalonia, and it is in the Catalan language. Very cool. cool. Yeah. So what are blues? Blues. Mm. What I, does it have a, a does the word come from something? I don't gonna... think it's because of feeling blue. Just yeah, you feel blue, and you have the blues, meaning everything's. I mean, I think it comes from. Um, I would imagine it comes from feeling blue because of slavery. Because yeah. if you're not free, you feel sad and you feel blue, and then you sing about that. So the blues, right? Do you know something actually, Beyonce loves uh, blues because Beyonce told my dad, and my dad told me, who listened to Miles Davis, so what? Whenever I was feeling blue or down or stressed, I just had to stick on that record. And it was Beyonce that told my dad to tell me. Fantastic. So our recommendation from this webinar is for everyone, your homework is to listen to Miles Davis. So what? This Do is it for your homework is this one that you read right there. Listen to Miles Davis. So what? What is your favorite song on Miles Davis? So what? It's so what? Oh, is it? Yes, yeah. It is I think my favorite song on So What is Freddie the Freeloader. Ah, That's really? In my mind right now. Yeah. Beautiful album, though. I want because I have my record player in London and I really want it here because I've got I got it the whole I got the there will be more right now. It's a beautiful album. So we're reaching the end, but yes, so R&B is rhythm and blues, which is the style of music that Beyonce, our friend Beyonce, sings. Um, your homework is to listen to Miles Davis' So What? We are reaching the end of our work. <laughs>
So from our glorious kingdoms, the Princess Jess of Guacamole and King Monique, we would like to thank you very much for your time. We wish you a beautiful, glorious, marvelous weekend. And in ten Beyonce says goodbye as well. Oh, Beyonce says goodbye as well. Please tell Beyonce goodbye from me too. Goodbye Thank you everyone. everyone. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.